participants hope you are doing well so today we will focus on the backup of vmware vmware machines so as you are aware we have vcenter right in the vmware we can add we can integrate with your vcenter and discover all the vms so in my scenario i will use my exs server and we can use exs server also as a vcenter and we can discover we can integrate with your exs server and we can discover all the vms running in center let me check if i can ping my vcenter sorry exs server yeah so this is my vcenter sorry exs uh, exa exercise over IP let me log into my console so in a scenario where you have this and you have standard on exs server as well this is the perfect use case for that so even not only the vcenter even you can add your exs server as well so in okay let's just uh, first log in okay let's let me add In the virtualization you can see all the virtualizations are uh, convert supports so when convert is saying we support these many virtualization that means we do support age and less backups of those vms so whether it's amazon vm azure vm or citrus vm or hybrid vm or vmware vms we support age and less backup for them right so in my video today i'm focusing on the vmware so I have selected VMware vCenter. So it is asking for client name. So you can give any name to this. So I will just give a exi server. Right. Here we need to give vCenter server name. Here I have to give either IP or host name of your vCenter. okay now here we need to give the username to access this and here you can give the storage policy okay so here we need to add the proxy for proxy that virtual server agent has to be ins installed in the proxy v either vm or console or any media agent also you can select for this Okay, in my scenario, I have installed my virtual server agent on my console cell, so I have selected that. Just press OK. Okay. I think my yeah, sorry password was wrong. Yeah, once it is added, we can discover all the VMs running inside the EXS server. Yeah, that is added. You can close this window. Here you can see our EXS server. Here we got virtual server. 
VMware default backup set under the default Yeah. So in the content, you can uh, browse and you can discover all the VMs running inside the EXS server. See, you can see, we can select, we can choose any VM. I'm just selecting the, my smallest VM and I can select and I can add my content. Okay, then in the storage, I have already selected a server plan, and then we can initiate the backup ops. Yeah, before proceeding with this, please make sure you have at least 10% of free space of your data store freely available in your data store. I'm again repeating 10% of free space, 10% of your data store. If you have data store of 10 TB, then at least one TB should be the free space. It is not about the VM size, it is not about the VM data, it is not about the snapshot size, it is about the data store. So once it is available, then only because we need that. As I said, all the live activities running regarding whether it's a backup or restoration, it will appear in the job controller. So in the job controller, you can see here it is started. Here again, we have different phases for the VM backup. As I mentioned in the endpoint backup, we had three phases scanning backup and archive index same way in vm backup also we have different phases first phase was discover it has discovered the vm here you can see it has discovered the vm whether this particular vm is available or not it has discovered and then next phase it has started as backup Here in the virtual machine state, you can see its progress for the live status of the VM. Backup start time, then time, backup size, proxy VM, what's the progress, everything you, you can see here. Till the time it is completing, let me show you some other features as well, like live sync. Right? In the live sync, you can replicate, you can have a replication of the VMs. Once this resource VM is down, the DRVM will get running. And also we can do You want to do the contents replication that also possible of your data. Contents replication of your data in the live sync, you can do the configuration. So in the live sync, uh, let me show you this is the vCenter connect, right? We have 
air proxy line you can select here we can add which vm for which vm we want to the live sync <coughs> right so once backup is completed i will show you how it will be it's completing
we just need to wait till the time the backup is completed after that i will show you how to restore the vms the other features like live mount live recovery other features also i will show you i'm requesting please like and subscribe my channel and please like the video and please share your feedback in the comment box if you have any query or if you have if you want me to show if you want me to upload any other video on any other specific feature let me know in the comment box
I'm requesting please like my video and subscribe the channel to get the latest updates on my uh, latest videos, upcoming videos and let me know your feedback in the comment box and let me know if you want me to show or upload any video on any other specific feature let me know in the comment box
yeah now it's completed So, so once the backup is completed, we have five options to the recovery. One is the full version machines as it is like it was before. Automatically it will move to the vCenter and it will be up and running. You can change the name of the VM, everything, the IP and all. Virtual machine files, restore virtual machine configuration and VMDK files to the file system of the proxy means you can restore the vmdk files like in case of vmware vmdk files with a proxy machine and you can later you can attach to your attach to any other vms or you can create the vms attach disk to existing vm you can restore individual vmdk file to the data store of the exe host and attach the vmdk to existing virtual machine means if any virtual machine is running and you want to attach the vmdk file to that particular existing vm virtual machine then you can select third option if you want to recover the general recovery means you want to recover only particular file or folder then you have to select the fourth option that's why i'm folder and if you want to restore the virtual machine as a virtual lab then that also option is available Okay, so let's focus on the first option as of now. I will show you the live mount and live recovery feature, right? The only one VM which we have given, uh, taken the backup. Click this and click on the recover also once you recover once you click on that it will ask in place or out place in case you want to replace the vm then select this option otherwise don't sir i'll check this and it will go with the auto place it will ask what is the name of the vm yes i am going to this side change the vm name and i will go the disk positioning also we can change i will go with the thin positioning power on the virtual machine here is the option for live recovery please note you have to select this option and you have to select a different data store in the previous screen you can see we have selected vm underscore restore right here we have selected vm underscore restore so here you can select this you have to select other than that go with another data store okay so in my case i won't go with the live recovery just this option i want to show you where it is the this option to select this and you proceed it will go with the live recovery next and finish it the said earlier everything where is related to recovery backup all the jobs will be appear in the job controller. So in the job controller, you can see restoration process. Yeah, you can see uh, you can see 
focus. So it is going with the NBD transport mode.
yeah our illustrations completed you can check this in your view center esserver.console and also let me show you you can check in convert as well as i shown earlier in the browse when we browse it you are getting only three pms right and you can see we are getting four pms and also you can differentiate this sign this blue color sign it is showing it is these VMs are in stock, they are not in running, and this Windows 7 RES that is running, it's a green signal. And you can check, and I hope you remember we have selected power on the virtual machine, means this virtual machine power on, so that's how you can differentiate in the browser. Also, hope you like my video. Please like the video and subscribe my channel to get the latest update on upcoming videos also please let me know the feedback in the comment box also let me know if you want to see if you want me to upload any other video on any other specific feature i will get it done thank you